Hello, friends. Happy Thursday. Uh, smoking this basket billiard. Uh, probably had this for over 10 years now. Wonderful pipe. And I am smoking this wonderful stuff. Cornell and Deal Grey Ghost. I don't know why it took me so long to try this. I love this blend. I just got it, uh, ordered it last Friday. And I probably have had about 10 bowls now. And it is just fantastic um, if you like cigars it's not like smoking a cigar and I don't want to mislead anyone this is very different from smoking a cigar but you can taste the cigar leaf in this a lot of blends that have cigar leaf in them it plays a supporting role when it adds a lot of depth and and, and can tie some other things together great great uh, condimental tobacco but in this blend it really takes the, the lead role and it's surprising in its flavor but it's very very good And by the way, this is take two because I forgot to press the record button. So <laughs> if, I, if I run low here and have to reload, please don't think I'm smoking like a, like a freight train. So yeah, Grey Ghost, I, I ordered Grey Ghost. I ordered uh, some Windjammer, which came in on the same one. And this is because we're planning to do a live tin opening of Windjammer. And it's gonna be fun. So what we're gonna do and let me just pull up the, the list here. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to do a live stream and we're going to connect a Zoom meeting into that live stream. Uh, I've done this before for our Halloween special. And we're going to have a number of people. I don't know how many yet. We're going to, you know, as many as want to join in uh, who all have an unopened tin of Windjammer and have never tasted it before, myself included. So I'm not going to open this tin until uh, that Friday. We're going to pop the tin and give impressions. You know, we're going to talk about the, the tin note, well, how it packs, everything you would expect in a, in a sort of tobacco impression video, but we're going to do it live and we're going to do it in a group. And I, I just think this is going to be a lot of fun. And of course, we'll get into other things. We, you know, we'll talk about how it reminds us of other tobaccos and all that, almost like, a, like a, an actual pipe club meeting. And of course, your uh, interactions from the chat room are going to be part of it, too. So right now, I think that's going to be Friday, March 12th, but I got to contact the folks that have already volunteered and make sure they've got their wind jammer and they're available that night and so on and so on. So tentatively, it's going to be Friday, March 12th. Uh, the list that I have right now, just so that everyone can make sure they're on the list that they want to be, is Michael Rizzo, Andrew Cerigliano, Cody Elliott, Dave Tiefer, Steve and Kathy, uh, Kilted Piper Steve and Miss Kathy, and John Knight. So that's seven people. Uh, I was counting on my fingers, by the way. That's seven people. Uh, that's a nice crowd. Uh, we can have as many as, as want to be involved, so there's no, there's no upper limit, but seven is great. If you're not on that list and you think you should be, send me an email, uh, canerodpiper at gmail.com. <clears throat> It's not too late to get in. The only catch is you're going to have to have an unopened tin of this ready uh, on March 12th. And again, the date might change if folks aren't available. We'll just have to see. So, yeah, really looking forward to that. Now, this Friday, we've got uh, Virtual Pipe Club, uh, King Rod Pipes Virtual Pipe Club, not to be confused with the Virtual Pipe Club. <clears throat> and uh, that's going to be fun because I'm the other thing I ordered in addition to Grey Ghost and Windjammer. Now, let me back up a minute. So, you know, I've, I've been having a psychotic episode the past few weeks where I've been smoking a lot of Kia blends for some reason and uh, enjoying them, which is just not like me. Well, when I was buying these two, I was thinking, you know, what else do I want to buy? And there was a blend that a friend of mine, Eric, my friend Eric, had recommended. I think it was... Stokeby Natural Flake, I think that's what it was, but they were out of that, and so I went back to the Cornell and Deal blends because I usually like Cornell and Deal's offerings, and there I saw Byzantium. Yes, I bought two ounces of Cornell and Deal Byzantium, a very Latakia heavy Balkan. And, you know, we're going to find out live on Friday night 
whether what's going on right now is just a glitch or if I like this stuff. <laughs> so it should be fun. I have to admit I'm approaching it with both uh, uh, happy expectation as well as a little bit of dread, but we'll, <laughs> we'll find out on Friday. So that should be a lot of fun, plus all the stuff we normally do on, on the Virtual Pipe Club. So try to join me for that next Friday, not the coming Friday, but the one after. Uh, I'll tell you a story about that. So on Friday, I think it's March 5th, uh, we're going to have Les Wood from Ferndown Pipes. And I've been chatting with Les. Uh, he's, he's, he's pretty much locked in for that uh, date and time. And he, he's going to be a fascinating guy to talk to. He's been in the pipe industry forever you know worked for dunhill for a long time then set out on his own really made us mark in the pipe making world if you're not familiar with ferndown pipes or less wood just do a little bit of of google searching and uh you know you'll start seeing the, the high quality and beautiful pipes that, that less has made so i'm really looking forward to getting to know him a bit better and maybe getting some some insight into the the pipe industry especially that time at Dunhill, and then what it was like to kind of move out on his, on his own and, and create his own mark in the pipe world. I should have mentioned, I, I, I did in the first take, so I forgot to press the darn record button. I'm wearing um, this relatively new shop apron that was given to me by a friend, and this is great. I. It helps. I just call them. Whoever that is, I'll have to get back to them. Uh, this is great. My wife is always complaining about how I ruin my shirts working down here, so I put this on and I'm less likely to ruin my shirts. Now, I have a leather one behind me that I wear when I'm doing handwork on stems, you know, filing and that kind of stuff, you, you know, carving. Uh, but this is lightweight, and it's great for like working on the lathe, sanding, um, sa sanding on the belt sander, or um, staining. You know those kinds of things. Epoxy. Uh, it's really great. It's very lightweight. I don't know that it's on, uh, and it it protects uh, protects my shirts, which will make my wife happy. So uh, it was a kind gift of a friend who. Uh, asked to not be identified, but I really appreciate the gift and thank you, my friend. It has made a huge difference in my pipe restoration work. Making a lot of stems this week, taking a short break from work. Uh, this usually happens where I'll have like four hours of meetings and then an hour break and uh, you know, I can grab some lunch and then I can get some pipe work done and then I got to go back to meeting. Uh, never, never more than an hour in, in the course of a day. So I don't get as much work done here as I'd like to on pipes, but I get plenty of work done on my real job, which I also enjoy. All right. So just to quickly uh, tie this up because I got to get back to work, and I'm sure you guys have better things to do than listen to me sit in the basement and talk about nothing. Uh, <laughs> Windjammer, hopefully on March 12th. If you want to get in on the, the live tin opening, send me an email, canerodpiper at gmail.com. Gray Ghost, wonderful stuff. If you like cigar leaf, you got to try Gray Ghost. Tune in this Friday to see me turn green. Thank you guys. I hope you're all having a having a great week and looking forward to the weekend, which is starting tomorrow night uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern. I'll see you then, guys. Take care.